First, you need to choose a background for your hidden pictures puzzle. I chose a piano since the theme of my puzzle is musical instruments. You may choose a, a couch with pillows, maybe a table or a patio chair if you're outside, maybe a tree or a bush. Anything you can find that's simple and then you can build your objects around it. These are the objects in my hidden pictures puzzle. Yours are going to be different. For example, if you're in your bedroom building around your bed as the background, you might have stuffed animals. Maybe you have a pair of socks or a favorite shirt or um, desk items like a lamp or a pencil or a pen. So depending on where you are, if you're in the kitchen, maybe you have um, a mixing bowl or a spoon. So your items in your hidden pictures puzzle are going to vary greatly. Just make sure that the items that you choose, your student is very familiar with. They know what it's called and um, they can identify them on their own without them being hidden. You'll want to take a picture of each item in your hidden pictures puzzle so you can make sure that your student knows the name of each item you can also use that picture to reference when you're asking your student to find that item in the hidden picture puzzle. You'll want to start simple with just hiding two items to begin with. You can partially hide one part of the item. You can put one on its side or upside down or backwards. But in this picture, can you find the ukulele and the red electric guitar. If your student is using eye gaze, you can use your cell phone to take pictures of each item in your hidden pictures puzzle. And that way you can reference that picture when you're asking your student to find it in the puzzle. Maybe the puzzle's on a computer screen or a tablet, or the picture could be a real live picture in your home. But regardless, you can use that picture on your cell phone as a reference to ask your student to find that item. Good job, you found the ukulele partially hidden on the left and the red electric guitar laying down on top of the piano to the upper right. On this picture, I'd like you to find the banjo and the tambourine. Good job, you found the banjo underneath the piano bench and the tambourine behind the light. On this picture, I'd like you to find three things, the upright bass, the recorder, and the silver electric bass. Good job, you found the upright bass turned around to the left the recorder upright on the piano, and the silver electric bass to the right. This picture has three items. I need you to find the harmonica, the black electric guitar, and the upright bass. Great job, you found the harmonica to the left on top of the piano, the upright bass laying on its side on the ground, and the black electric guitar on the upper right. This picture has all the musical instruments together in one shot. Some are partially hidden, some are lying on their sides and hard to find. Please take some time to find all the instruments by pausing the video. I hope you had fun with this activity. As you can imagine, the opportunities are endless with what you can create with hidden picture puzzles at home. Have fun this summer, be safe, and I can't wait to see you in the fall. Bye.